welcome eSafety champions to our Safer uh, Internet Day um, video chat about uh, fake news and misleading information online. So we're going to chat about a few different topics and questions. Um, so I've got a few planned and we're going to talk through them and see what your opinions are, what you think, what you've seen online um, and see how this goes. So it should be quite interesting um, and we'll see what comes of it. So um, our first question for debate is um, which social media platforms do you use? So if anyone wants to unmute and uh, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, TikTok. Few for TikTok. Okay, so who uses TikTok then? Me. I can see some hands up. Me. Okay, not everyone, but a lot of you. Does do any of you use Facebook? I'd be interested to know that. I use Facebook Messenger, but I don't use Facebook. Not really. No. I've had a conversation about something before and opened uh, opened it, and it's just come up with that exact thing on the first picture. <laughs> yeah, my mum was talking about cheap flights to Canada and then the next thing uh, she knew, she opened Facebook and asked like an advert for it. What, literally for Canada? Yeah, it was like cheap British Airways flights to Canada. But that's how Google AdSense works. They use your, they personalise ads to you and tailor the ads to you, basically. That's kind of how the World Wide Web works. Do you see false information on some social media networks yes as you see these massive youtubers like um who are these gamers uh, that um pewdiepie and you said lazy Moon, these big youtubers the problem is when they earn a lot of money and they definitely are starting to do you know clickbaity type um thumbnails More. and stuff to get yeah, to get people into their videos and they think when they've like millions of subscribers or thousands of subscribers they can just um they can just you know, do what they want really, and people will watch it. In, on Instagram, you're battling what is the truth and what isn't. There's so many loads of YouTubers who haven't got TikTok accounts, and people are making um, fake TikTok accounts for them. And I saw one with Stampy the other day, and it wasn't real. And then the the real Stampy came on and uh, told everyone it's not true, and told everyone what his account was. So that kind of leads into my next question then. So we've talked a lot about the fact that there is fake news on these um, these different platforms. So my next one is um, what sort of false information do you actually see? Like if you put, if you boil orange skin, apparently it cures COVID. On Google, if you like um, search something up, it comes up with a link to like a social website, don't it? And um, mm. so that that's fake really easily and they just come up if it fits the keywords. So, another thing. What is the craziest thing that you have seen online, but that wasn't true? I, I saw something that they said in like, in the masks, there's like a little chip they can, when you're speaking, they pick up what, you, what you're speaking, it sends back to like a major office where they know like who you're, what you're talking about. I did um, one of the very first um, fake news stories, um, I think it was on the BBC when television was still black and white. It was a deliberate false thing. Was um, about uh, spaghetti trees, about growing spaghetti on trees, and because a lot of people in this country didn't know where spaghetti um, came from, lots of people believed it, um, and that was one of the very first false um, news information. I saw one on um, YouTube the other day. You know um, Stephanie from Full House? Yeah, I saw a thing come up saying because she hadn't done like an uh, Agden project in like a year or something, it said that she'd fell off a roller coaster upside down at Disney World and died. And it got like reposted loads of times. I saw a post on TikTok and it was this guy explaining why coronavirus wasn't a thing. And then it's a way that the government are manipulating us. It's horrible that people can have, can have the mind to make up these things. Um, the next question um, is, do you think that some types of false information spread more than others? Than others? Yeah, I think definitely what it's about, like, celebrities. Sometimes we feel like we lack common sense. 
is that is that why it's shared why why do people feel the need to share press that share button then if they know it's not true or to some or is it because some people think it's true and just press share like that moment thing, isn't it? and lots of people were saying that it was edited into pepper pick videos on youtube really because the thing is i think people put it in after yeah. the original fake news because when it when people first said it was in pepper pick videos i looked at the sub right and I could not find it. What happened was, because the people said, oh, it's in Peppa Pig videos, people then downloaded a Peppa Pig video, put it in, re-uploaded to YouTube. So obviously, because someone said it's in a Peppa Pig video, someone put it in one yeah. to make it be true. But at the point where people said it was in a Peppa Pig video originally, it never was. Our next question then is, um, how is false information and fake news harmful? We, we kind of got onto it there with the whole Peppa Pig Momo thing. That scared little kids. Yeah, but also when that rumour first went round, those videos didn't actually exist. That was just fake news and rumour. However, once it got out there, it became true. Interesting. It can affect people. I think the problem is when YouTubers make their videos, yeah. as most of them are obviously nearly probably over 18, they to them they don't think about who their audience are so to them they think oh it's probably a joke people their age and above will find it oh it's really funny but they don't realize that their audience also especially mm. if it's gaming now it, younger children are watching it um and people are getting scared by it and they just don't think before they are most people would would look at it and be like half ah, how funny but there are people out there that look at that sort of stuff and genuinely feel scared about it and that it generally could be harmful to them did you hear when um donald trump said that um bleach could kill the coronavirus so, i think it matters who says it because if if for example i had said that on social media no one would see it but because donald trump posted it then everyone's gonna see it do we know the source of the misleading information? We might have sort of covered that already, maybe. But also, what can we, what can we do about it? What can you, you guys, do about it at your age? I think it's also good that we're having this Net Safety Day because it's another way to spread awareness to people that may not be aware of it. I think that thing that people can do is stop believing they need to check they need to google if they see something they want to try they need to google it and make sure that you know try and find it from a reliable source if the bbc or sky news or someone is reporting it there's more chance of it being true